On a first Philippines trip, you will have a completely new experience of the country if you visit at least one more island. To show you this contrast, I share my first impressions of the island Boho in this video and you can compare it to the first impressions of Cebu which is linked in the description below. But first, a little bit of a background on why I am on this Philippines trip. Following a call from the Philippines Department of Tourism and Globe Telecom, Filipinos massively invited the world to come and see for yourself why this country is so incredibly special. One foreigner tourist who was dying to go to the Philippines Oh, hey, yeah, that's me. decided to take up their invites and show up. Welcome to the Philippines! Mabuhay! Welcome to the Philippines! Mabuhay! Welcome to the Philippines! Mabuhay! Welcome, welcome to, to the Philippines! Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines! After years of wanting to go to the Philippines, Cebu was making all my dreams come true. Will Boho be able to top that? Let's find out! For more videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post a new video. <laughs> In previous videos, I already mentioned how organized the Philippines is and once again, the first thing I noticed is the modern ferry departure hall. There's a set price for ferry tickets too, so no bargaining, which always makes travel a bit easier. Something else that makes travel easier is a massage on the go. Apparently, that's available in the ferry terminal as well. Welcome to Boho guys, or the local name, Tagbilaran. I'm very excited to explore another island here in the Philippines, so let's see what Tagbilaran has to offer. Arriving in my accommodation in Boho, you can immediately see how different the character is of this island versus Cebu. The atmosphere is a lot more laid back and there's even more space for beautiful nature. I'm already loving Boho, but the moment I see a cow from my balcony, I know for sure we're in for a good time on this island. such a bouncy bed <laughs> so nice oh my goodness absolutely absolutely loving boho it is so peaceful and quiet outside you can literally hear the birds chirping wait until you see the swimming pool mm -hmm. let's go It's a new day in the Philippines guys. We just visited the blood compact shrine which is a symbol of how 
in the past, friendships were made in the Philippines, which was through a blood ritual. Also, we passed a beautiful bridge with beautiful views. The beautiful, peaceful Baklayan church was next. I never film inside places of worship, but I can 1010 recommend you to take a look in the mass space as it's absolutely stunning. Simply driving on the leisurely roads of Boho through the lush greenery is one of my favorite memories. There's a very soothing vibe in Boho, so you really don't have to even make an effort to relax here. Before coming to the Tarshir Sanctuary, I had never heard of these animals before. Inside, we are not allowed to feed them because they will hunt their own food. They eat insects like rickets and grasshoppers. So the biggest size of a Tarshir is like this, a human fist. So the baby, like a thumb, their eyes is bigger than its brain. They can turn their head 180 degrees side by side, total of 360, but their eyes are still. So they can carry one baby per year, six months in the womb, and then another six months. They nurture the baby and then after then, Mother Tarsier will push the baby so that the baby will find their own territory. So they have also a long tail, so they use to counter with balance if they are going to jump. Because the Tarsiers can jump 3 to 5 meters distance from 3 to 3. I think Tarsiers are incredibly interesting animals and they're basically baby Yoda. So let's see how much we learned about them. So much. Something on the itinerary I had doubts about was the river cruise lunch. In the past, I've had some disappointing experiences, and especially on a boat, it's hard to change your plans if you don't like something. Well, my name is Rowan, and together with the guitar is Rowan. Feel the beauty of the majestic love of the river as we entertain. Enjoy, and we have a great day.
lunch we have entered a beautiful floating restaurant we are also going on a river cruise but first we need to have food and I haven't showed you much of Filipino food because as a vegetarian I have been eating very simple food just vegetables and those kind of things the traditional Filipino dish is adobo but unfortunately because I am vegetarian I cannot eat it what I can eat is another traditional dish which is jackfruit curry I am super excited to try it this is how it looks it looks like meat but it actually is only jackfruit in case you don't know jackfruit is a huge fruit it has small yellow parts which really have quite a meaty texture it is also used to simulate uh, what is it called slow roasted pork i think but uh, this curry is also only made from jackfruit and i can't wait to try it so let's try it that's so yummy mm. something else that is a little bit new for me is the seaweed salad it's also completely vegetarian and I've had seaweed salad before but not like this so try mm. super crunchy a lot of lemon it's more firm than regular seaweed and it also doesn't have that overwhelming seaweed flavor it's just a hint of it yum As we start cruising, I realize there's absolutely nothing to worry about. This cruise is incredibly entertaining and the food is really yummy. friends uh, what's your name uh, my name is Jania <laughs> and my name is Mike what do you like most about the Philippines I like the people because people are very shiny they're dancing singing and smiling all the time and also I like Filipino dogs because <laughs> they're very friendly and they're lazy I like their way to live here I think like this me too also people I think even good weather and you know all the nature around is not good without good people here so everything makes the country so unique and cool yeah we like filipino <laughs> <laughs> called Chocolate Hills way back 1970s so there was a American professor who came in here uh, who came in here in the island of Bohol it was summer season so when the American professor first time saw those hills he shouted oh it look like he says chocolates every summer season comes the grass of the hills turns into brown so that's why uh, is it called chocolate hills but the first name 
of chocolate hills was Carmen Hills. Those perfectly cone-shaped hills was concentrated in the town of Carmen. Chocolate hills also uh, ranges from 40 to 120 from top to bottom. So chocolate hills also declared as a national geological monument. It is protected by the government. Way back million years ago, so this island Bohol was formed due to volcanic eruption underwater. We have only two types of stone here. We have limestone and coral stone. Thousand years ago, there was no hills in this area. Rainwater uh, slowly flushed away the soft part of the coral stone. So until such time, uh, slowly getting uh, forming small hills, until such time it was become ready those big hills so that's how the chocolate hills was formed Boho is a completely different island than Cebu, but both absolutely amazed me with all the wonderful new experiences they had to offer. I already feel incredibly content with everything we've experienced here, but there was still one more absolute must-do on my Philippines bucket list. An island tour, including a visit to a sandbank. Welcome to Virgin Island guys. This actually isn't even an island. It is a sandbank which is only visible during low tide. Currently it is very very low tide so it doesn't really match with the images that I've seen. You need a little bit more high tide for that but still nevertheless it feels like we're cast away on a deserted island and it feels amazing. Welcome to Balikasag Island. This is the water activity island. There's only one resort here, which is a diving resort. There is only one school, which is a preschool. The people who live here mainly live of, of uh, fishing, but also tourism, obviously. We are going for snorkeling over here, and maybe, maybe we'll even see a turtle, but I don't want to make that promise to you because they are, well, they are roaming the island. So we just have to run into one.
While departing from Boho, I realized how important a good guide is. Both Chen and Lish have made my first visit to the Philippines unforgettable. You can find both their contact details in the description and no, they're not sponsoring me. <laughs> <That's no. laughs> sure. <laughs> Once you visit the Philippines yourself, you also realize why people keep coming back over and over. I'm truly grateful to see Philippines for the first time, but trust me when I say it's definitely not the last time. Just like with India, I feel I could explore here for a lifetime and never get bored. For more of my videos now, I've linked the Philippines playlist in the description. If you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up and leave a comment with your thoughts on Boho vs Cebu. Also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever I post new videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. A couple of hours later, I am currently at the airport. I think we should go. Let's go, Philippines. You were amazing. Yeah, see? <laughs> Just waiting for him to go around the corner. Oh no, sunshine, come on. Okay, wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha